Hi, Cancer. Welcome. Golden Empress Collection here, and just happy you're here to join me. This is your February reading. As you guys know, there's been quite a bit going on in my life, and so the February readings were delayed just a little bit, okay? I appreciate you being here, though, okay? Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly cancer. You can check that out over in the description box. <clears throat> And then uh, Guardian Angel Messages is when I feel like doing other stuff. But there's a whole lot out there in the playlist, so make sure you check it out. So Cancer, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy, spiritually being guided in the right direction, okay? This is going to be Sagittarian Temperance Energy, everything coming together, you know, good times, good family, good fun. Um, maybe you completed a lot of projects here is also what I'm picking up on, or there's major projects that have been completed or you're assisting with completing somebody. This is the, the way that, uh, like I'm hearing, this is the, the way that you mentally thought, but you, you helped other people do like there's, this is what you did for a living completing projects. Yeah. Epiphany. Hangman. Epiphany about what? Oh, wow. So there's a cycle of continuation, a cycle that will continue here. I think that, why, why is this? It's more of a Piscean type of energy. It might be that new moon that we're getting ready to go through. Okay. Pisces is going to bring you success and abundance is what it feels like, Cancer. So claiming your true energy and your spirituality when it comes to your family, your friends and how they treat you. You know, this is kind of that, you know, being in synchronicity with your other person. Some of you guys, this this will be of no consequence to you, but there's a pause coming and it might have to do with finances. Okay. Cancer, there could be a pause coming. Pisces. Yeah. Nine of cups. Nine of pentacles. Yeah, it has a lot to do with money. It has to do with marriage. It has to do with whether or not someone considers, them, considers themselves to be single. If you guys are married to a Pisces or in relationship with one, this person is acting single, Cancer. Um, cancer, I think that it's hard for you to kind of deal with this. But for the most part, this person treats you like a queen. They treat you like an empress. You don't feel anything but love for this person, even though they have this other thing going on in the background. Yeah, they do. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. There's something toxic here and it's, it's a very unhealthy type of relationship. It's very unhealthy behind the scenes is what it feels like. It's really interesting to me because that's what I keep seeing. I keep seeing all of these scenarios lately of how everything looks peachy on the outside. And it's, it's really so spiritually driven to help you see what the toxicity truly is. I guess somebody never really looked at it like that from this perspective, you know, that this person doesn't necessarily do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. See they they move slowly with it. And then when you approach them, they act like they're a burden. And then they tell you that you deal with too many other people, or you're worried about what other people think with this three and three here, three of pentacles, three of cups. This other person does have someone. Okay. Cancer. There, there's no if, ands or buts about it. And you know, you constantly giving to this person is let's wait for it. Energy. You know, you would be willing to come back together with this person in a heartbeat, especially if they're an ex. But the reason they haven't come back around is because they have another person, possibly more than one at that. Might be beating them off with sticks. Right. You know, I would hate to say, you know, if this person is that, you know, mm, yeah, you want to hold on to this person because they know how to break it down. There's definitely a sexual drive behind this person. They like sex. You know, but the thing is, is that when they're done with it, 
I don't know, maybe this person just tells you that they're sexy. There, there's passion between the two of you. But that's really all it is with all of these wands. It's a passion where this person does that with multiple people here. Yeah, they do. It's the game that they play, Cancer. They talk a good game. They'll talk to you and make you feel like your family, too. But in all reality, it's just a, it's a dream aspect here. This person is investing and has their hands in multiple pies or people. And I don't see it stopping anytime soon. They might get to some point one day where they stop being a player. But right now, I don't know if holding on to you is what they really want. Are they having to come to Jesus? Well, there's the King of Pentacles with the offer here. So there's something that they would like to do. But there's a secret behind it. There's still some sort of delay. It might be this person is starting to see it could be harder and harder to keep a team, maybe. Yeah. What's this delay? Page of Swords. Yeah, it's, I don't, they either they are, to, yeah, they're talking to you with this Queen of Swords. But the way that they come at you, I don't think that they think before they speak. Right. And whatever it is, anytime they say something to you, you either one up them feminine or you just like slice together, whatever it, you slice it up. That doesn't make any sense. And you kind of bust them in whatever it is that they're doing. Listen, you know, when you're being manipulated. OK, if this person is trying to work you over like they did in the past, you're not about to sit here and play games. You're not about to be manipulated. Your stability is your stability and you own it. OK, you're the queen of manipulation. If someone's trying to come at you like that, Cancer, they better recognize. I'm telling you. And this person, because they refuse to recognize your power, your strength, your ability, you know, just the fact that you are this empress, it becomes drama. Some of you guys, if this is a relationship where you're together and this has to do with a child, child gets irritated and does not like authority whatsoever you've even had other people try to intervene but it just becomes a burden for some reason i see that the masculine allows the feminine to become harsh for some reason and i don't know why there's something about maybe he's undermining the feminine here, um, especially with the fact that there's other women. And then as the child gets older, this child sees the truth about why their parent doesn't really do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. And they possibly try to follow suit. And then they start treating this very loving, caring mother in a very unkind way. And if somebody really is angry and frustrated and just acts like a spoiled brat, I don't know. The mother might not be able to handle this. And so, like I said, this is a spiritual message. I think there might be a mother here trying to determine whether or not she allows this undermining relationship to go on here. That's what it feels like. And, and she has to make plans. She has to make plans. There's a very sexual vibration between this man and this woman. She considers him to be someone that pleasures her. It's, I feel like it's her husband. And it's unfortunate because he's not the only, she's not the only one. And so right now she's feeling like there should be some sort of, you know, justice that comes, but it's not coming. She's still feeling lack of something. She, she does contemplate on whether or not to divorce this person, but there might be a lawyer that tells her that she does have a leg to stand on, especially if there's other lovers in the mix here. If there's someone that's, you know, kind of throwing some sort of monkey wrench here. Here's the other thing. If, if there's something to do with someone's job here, that could be something that, that helps the situation when it comes to finances. 
I do see here, and I will say this, Cancer, if you are someone where you didn't, this masculine didn't think that you had enough gumption in you to get out here and, you know, not let other scary things hold them back and have other people help you find the money you need to find, this masculine didn't expect you to do that. Okay, Cancer? They really did not. Yeah. They really thought that they, you're just the kind of person that people take advantage of, you know, that people manipulate. And I think to them, I think that they would really be bringing you drama. This is someone, if they try to tear you down, whoever this person is, just know that they'll get with it, what's coming to them. Whatever it is that they sow right now, yeah, spirit's going to hold, hold one and send it back to them when it's time because that's not meant for you. It's filled with lack and it would block you from being in justice. And like I said, if you've been manifesting out of peace, then yeah, don't. And you don't need revenge either. You really don't. You can just go ahead and let spirit handle whoever this is that was trying to tell you it was okay to play games with you. I'm telling you that was it was okay to make you wait. It, it was never okay to make you wait. It was never okay to make you wait. And this particular person was playing games because they were out here sexing with the third party, acting like Don Juan, running these streets, trying to have sex, do what they wanted to do. Some of you guys, if they weren't, most of you, this is someone who's cheating that has multiple people here, okay? Some of you all, they even know that this person has a bunch of different people. I don't know if they know about you per se, but I know they know. I know they know that this person has a family and they don't even care. That's what's crazy about it, you know? And this might be someone that, yeah, I don't know what that is, but might be an ex that spies on them. And every now and then they get together. Yeah, it's a sexual connection. Every now and then they get together. They still text. And when she texts, he goes and they have sex. Yeah, it's some sort of spiritual trap that he's bound himself to. I don't know. It's to me, this person just has like this little black book. And some of these people that are in this little black book are like soulless. That's what I hear. Some of them are soulless. King of Pentacles and, and the Ten of Pentacles working on a way to do what? Somebody is now distracted by something. And so somebody needs to change the situation. Oh, so the feminine did start talking about a divorce. And then they block this energy. So maybe the sexual vibration is gone. And that could be very, very frustrating because now they're saying that they feel manipulated and that you're, someone is withdrawing here when it comes to love. And they would like to work things out with you. But unfortunately, you have other plans because you already know. You already know that this person is doing what they're doing. Wow, that's really messed up. If you see this person for who they really are, it intrigues you that this person treats you like you're a dummy. When you know everything, you know everything that's going on behind the scenes and you just stare at them like you could be sitting across from them and seeing everything that's going on on their phone or on their computer as they type. They could be having a conversation with somebody else about sex and, you know, sexting, stuff like that. And then... um looking over the computer at their spouse like nothing's even wrong that's what this feels like it feels like something just totally deceptive and the one who is of love the one who is of spirituality the one who is of someone that's blessed and abundant and achieved and just knowing what they deserve in life getting ready to tell somebody deuces we did have a hashtag um, on Friday Night Love Tar Friday Night Love Tarot called Run Up Get Done Up hashtag Run Up Get Done Up. I think that might be what this is. Because if that's the case, the police will definitely be involved. 
That is for sure right here. And somebody, because somebody could get out of jail because I told you someone is sweet and kind here. But don't let it get too out of hand. Don't think you can just show up on someone's doorstep and, and come in with this offer of, you know, let me take you to dinner. Let me buy you a wardrobe. Let me buy you a TV. I bought you a gift. Let me do this. Let me do this. I don't, I don't know what that is, but you might want to watch yourself because they definitely buy their friends, whoever they are, especially when you know the truth about them. Might spend a nice little chunk of money on you, too. Might spend a nice little chunk of money on you. Bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles. Still a lesson to be learned here about this waiting energy. This Ten of Wands, this Five of Swords in this drama. I think there's some ethical BS that's going on here with this Eight of Pent or this uh, Virgo energy that's right through here. Okay. There's definitely some ethical BS going on here. So this person, do they learn? Let's go over into the Vimeo Extended. Okay. It's time to go over there because we know that you're happy. We know that you're very soft, you're kind, and you're going to do the right thing. We already know this person's playing, but where are you going to go from here? Because I feel like you are sexy, divine, you're drawn. They know it. They want to harm you. They want to hurt you, but that's what they get for wanting to be out here and having flavors. A lot of the signs this month, you know, so check your, your moon, your rising, your Venus had to do with people who want to have flavors. I'm just saying. Okay, Friday Night Love Terror is your weekly. Guardian Angel Messages is in the description box. Vimeo extended links below. I'll see you over there. This is for you. Peace and elbow grease.